When I first came to getting in Hackerspace, I thought it's just a flat in the city center of Gettingen. But then I was welcomed, oh, oh, you cannot just enter, you need to log in by SSH. We need your, your key. So I got my key into the uh, server and then the Arduino, when I, when I logged in, there were four options. One of them was open the lock. The second was arm the lock, and the, the third was the uh, disarm the lock. And then the doors opened, yeah? After I came in, uh, I was welcomed by people who did 3D printing all the time, all, all the time. And on the wall, what I've seen was the electronics shop, basically. All the components nicely sorted, all the, the capacitors and the resistors and everything. Next to it was, of course, the electronics bench. And people who have met there usually every week to pursue their projects. Most of them uh, were staying in hackerspace. Uh, usually that was explained by uh, the fact that most of the people uh, found their uh, partners and families more willing to look at the device for a short time, but more not necessary for a long time. <laughs> mm. So pretty much all the hackerspace was, was mechanized, and it also has an awesome wiki that classifies all mm. the available components there. Wow. So That's it cool. looks like electronics shop. Mm. <laughs> also, the, the, there were a lot of meetups for the uh, crypto parties and Freifunk, and now they got connected to this uh, Freifunk initiative in Germany. They also have their own software for it that basically uh, tries to connect uh, Wi-Fi networks in a mesh manner. They still have to have a broadband connection to Sweden mm. to get uh, around the, 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 the laws of, of Germany that as a network provider you are responsible uh, for the content that is on the network. So it's, it's still not optimal, but uh, they, they aim to just connect themselves to the Rhineland Freifunk that already provides the free network everywhere because it has the official re registration as a network provider large enough that they don't are not anymore responsible for the content in their network. Otherwise, they, they could be sued. The other makerspace that I visited uh, was Amsterdam makerspace that basically has all these data printers and I th I, when I came there, I, I believed that because they, they have like a separate hardware room, that they, most of what they do with <coughs> printers is producing new printers. <laughs> <laughs> really. <laughs> so that was a short trial. I would uh, encourage you to visit both uh, hacker spaces. They, of course, have very strong makerspace component, and since I've played with hardware more, I, I didn't really look into the other parts. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Um, actually, it's a question for everybody, because I experienced